Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my first round crit. When we first came back to school from the summer, I had two story ideas and a whole bunch of confidence. So I went into my meetings with Steve and Amy feeling pretty good. I went into my individual meetings and pitched both of the stories and found that everyone kind of gave a resounding meh. I was told to keep writing, trying to keep in mind the idea of animation as a whole and to think of animation outside of just the realm of how I usually use it. Trying to tap into more personal and emotional stories with wider universal themes until ultimately deciding Fuck it, another Broccoli Man cartoon! If you're unaware of Broccoli Man, he's a character that I've done a few projects with in the past. He's basically a piece of broccoli that was brought to life and he feels that that qualifies him to be a superhero. However, he doesn't have a very strong power set, he is not very intelligent at all, and he rarely uh, helps anyone. Intentionally, at least. I recently used Broccoli Man for a class assignment and the class had not had any experience with him before and they were very interested in uh, an opening and closing scene in which a scientist is seen being very mean to Broccoli Man. I called you in here to help me with an experiment to test out this new device. I better go. I went on to explain what was happening and they were all very intrigued so that kind of pushed me to do this project now which is to show the origin story of Broccoli Man, um, who he is and showing him before he got his powers and became Broccoli Man. So within the realm of the story there is a government facility where there are a bunch of scientists working on various projects and one or two of the scientists happens to be trying to create GMOs and in the process creates the first GMO which accidentally turns out to be Broccoli Man. The scientists are a bunch of assholes and just seeking profit and prestige and attempting to cover their own asses for making a giant mistake so they continue on to do experiments on broccoli man to try to find some sort of use for him so i don't have a clear story at this point but basically the main idea being that the scientists are doing these experiments on broccoli man trying to figure out his photosynthesis regeneration abilities we've seen in the past and how that they can use that for their own abilities as well as potentially throwing broccoli man into dire and dangerous situations basically to emphasize the overall idea of broccoli man kind of just being this overwhelmingly optimistic force in a world of negativity that surrounds him that he is not going to be affected by. So Amy had a few parameters of her own or ideas she just thought that I should think about. Uh, one of course being that Broccoli Man is a character, uh, that the scientist in his voice is a character. She would like Julius to show up at some point. She would like this voiceover voice that I do to be rambling on somewhere in the background, whether on a radio or something. Uh, she would like this small, odd Broccoli Man to show up. So these are all just other things that I've been thinking about and trying to figure out where they belong. Also, I don't know if it's ever been mentioned, but Amy hates Broccoli Man's eyes. She has always hated Broccoli Man's eyes since the first time he was pitched. And basically, every time he is mentioned, she mentions it. So I was just curious about what people think about that and what kind of designs they have in mind. Look at me! Look at me! Do I look pretty now, mommy? 
Love me.